In this video I will be showing my past experiments with photoluminescent photography. This is replacing film or a digital image sensor with glow in the dark paper and exposing it to light in order to preserve an image. To make this photoluminescent film I used glow in the dark spray paint and either paper or plastic wrap. Then I cut it to size and put it in a small homemade camera. This camera is made out of a tin box and a 50mm Pentax lens. Next I left it outside for about 30 minutes to create the exposure. After closing the shutter and quickly taking it into a dark room, I could clearly see the image. I used a DSLR to take a picture of the paper to preserve the image digitally. Here are some of the pictures this system produced. As you can see, the images are grainy and not very sharp. It's an interesting concept to mess around with, but it doesn't really have many useful applications. The grain is caused by the glow paint clumping together in little lumps. These lumps glow brighter than their surroundings and produce an uneven glowing surface. To help smooth out the grain, I decided to build a larger camera so that the grain would appear smaller relative to the whole image. The main challenge with building a larger camera is finding a lens with a large coverage area. I decided to use this 135mm darkroom and larger lens. Its coverage area is about 9 inches. I then installed it in this cardboard box and used 5 by 10 pieces of foam covered in glow paint as the film. After the exposures, I once again captured the images digitally with a DSLR camera. Here are some pictures taken with this setup. They are still really grainy and not sharp, but better than before. The main problem with this camera system was that you had to be near a completely dark room with a DSLR capture system set up in order to record and view the images. I then decided to build my DSLR into the camera box so that I didn't have to remove the film in order to capture the picture. To do this I needed to be able to capture light on one side of the film and capture the resulting glow from the other side. To do this I stretched plastic wrap in a wood frame and painted that with the photoluminescent paint. I also built a mechanism that allowed me to adjust the flange and focal distance. Here are some resulting images. This project was a fun way to capture neat looking images, although it's not completely practical, unless you're going for this effect. Thanks for watching, bye.